Hey, what's up guys, Roman here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you own one of these, or are thinking about buying one of these, which is Insta360 ONE R, this is a very powerful camera. And to take this even one step further, Insta360 is, has been known to have their editing software be kind of top notch. And with me being kind of new in the space of 360 video, I've only heard of things that you are capable of doing with that app until I got it myself tried using it and quite honestly I was a bit lost in how to actually use it. So one of the things I wanted to quickly review with you today and kind of give you the Insta360 app 101 if you will is just how to take the video, import it and once it's imported how you actually click on and edit your video so that way when you're recording in 360 you can pick and choose which frames you want to use and which frames you don't want to use. Uh, and really be able to immerse yourself in that 360 experience. So if you download the app and you're lost on how to actually use it or if you just want a quick tutorial on how to edit your video, stay tuned, we'll dive into our app after this. All right guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and dive into the phone and I'm gonna show you how to quickly edit your video. So here we are, this is kind of the main page that it comes to and just to show you which version I'm using, I'm on app version 1.0.40 and uh, I've already imported the video that we're gonna be working with, so this is a video and as you guys can see right now, this is a full 360 video. I can literally turn this around and see it anything anywhere I want. And what I wanna do is I wanna be able to set points where when I export the video, the video is gonna change areas and you know basically the frame of what I'm displaying. So for example, right here, uh, the video kind of starts off with me walking and you guys can kind of see a little bit of a sun flare here um, from, the, from the sun. So I'm gonna create a point here and what I wanted to do is a couple things. You can set a focal point basically where it, it stays in focus or keeps that frame in focus and keeps that frame live, if you will. And then you can do multiple different things. You can start uh, turn camera angles. You can turn and rotate and add some effects to it. Uh, so let's just leave it there, for example. And then when we come to here, I wanted to kind of get back to normal. So here I wanted to go back to zero. And then let's go back here and play it. And this is kind of what it looks like. It hits that point, turns it, and then goes back to normal. So very subtle. And of course, you can change that to be more or less if you wanted to. So that's one functionality. The second functionality is, uh, let's just say if you want certain frames in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. You simply just click on it and then hit it, click on it again and it makes it go away. So let's just say when I start out, instead of me starting out from here, having it towards me, I wanna actually show where I'm walking. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the, the view around to where it's facing the front and I'm gonna go ahead and add a point there. So now you guys can see that yellow dot on the screen. That's gonna be kind of where the video is gonna show when I go back to play it. And then if, as we walk forward, what I wanna do is I wanted to be able to show the right side. So let's just say at this point, I wanna kinda of turn to the right, and you guys can see that small little uh, plus icon or whatever you wanna call it, target in the middle of the screen, and I wanted to stay there. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus, and it's gonna go ahead and create that icon there. So now when you go to play this from the beginning, it's gonna play something like this, hold on. starts out that way, but then keeps that area or that frame in place. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. And let's just say now we wanted to go ahead and move back forward so we can see where we're walking again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it towards the front, set it to where I want it to be, hit that plus icon again, it'll give us that dot, that means it's in place. Let's go back from the beginning and go ahead and play it. So it's gonna show the right, and slowly it's gonna start turning back to the left just like that, now it'll stay there. So what I was doing, because I was again new to the app as well as the 360 video, I was literally looking at it where, let's just say I wanted to be here, and I would create a point, and I would try to move this point. So it looks like you can almost like click and hold the yellow thing, the yellow icon that comes up, but that's not right, that's actually inaccurate. That icon is where it's currently focusing, or keeping that frame in place. So wherever you wanted to go, first turn the camera, and then click on the plus icon in the timeline so that way it creates that focal point or frame point and you can go ahead and do it from there. If you wanna remove that frame point, you simply just click on the X again and that goes away. So as you guys can see, now it's a plus. If I add it, 
it turns into an X if I want to remove it, hit X again, and then it, it basically goes away. So that's how it's done. And if you wanted to, for example, even turn up, you can go up like this, create a point here, and then uh, let's just say you want to keep it there for a little bit, and then have it come down uh, to where it maybe it shows me. Let's just say, for example, turn it to me, make an icon there, and now when you go back to play this, this is kind of what it looks like. So that's basically it. Uh, I think it was a lot of confusion on, on my part just because I, this was the first time I ever used it and I tried looking for resources. I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I wanted to make this video. If you're in the same boat as I was, now you know how to do your timeline. Obviously there's a lot more functionality in this app and this is just the first thing, like the first shell that I've been able to break in uh, being able to manage and, and edit video myself. So I wanted to share that with you. Hopefully you found this would be helpful. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to see more tutorials like this on this app, make sure you comment below, let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.